Hi and welcome to Love Doing Yoga on this magnificent bank holiday Monday. I hope you got an opportunity to enjoy the beautiful sunshine. And Alan's looking at me funny. There must be something wrong with my mic. Is that all right? Sorry about that. Uh, so yes, I hope you got to enjoy the sunshine this weekend. Um, absolutely gorgeous. So our theme today is revive, um, because it's nice to be feeling fully revived after a long weekend and all set up for the week ahead. Um, as always, throughout the practice, listen to your body and only do what feels right for you today. And don't forget to let us know when you've completed the practice, send us a thumbs up or whatever, so we can put you onto our uh, roll of honor for June. Okay, let's begin our practice today lying down. <clears throat> and lying with your knees bent and your feet about shoulder width apart. Arms down by your sides. Soften the body. Let go of your day and everything that's going on in your world and just bring yourself to your mat for the next hour you have no roles no responsibilities nothing to do but spend this time connecting your body with your mind through your breath And as you lie here, just become aware of your orientation on the mat, where your head is pointed, where your feet are. Where your body meets the atmosphere. Becoming fully aware of the space that you occupy. Zone in on your feet and their connection with the mat. How does the mat feel under your feet? Becoming aware of your knees just floating in the air. Focusing on your hands and your arms and their connection with the mat, the temperature of your skin. Becoming aware of your shoulder blades, allowing them to soften into the mat to fully connect. Aware of the length of your spine. Aware of the back of your head. And then tracing your spine from your tailbone all the way up. Noticing its connection with the mat as you lie in this position. It's fully connected to the mat all the way up to the base of your neck. And then notice as you, if you just gently nod your head, notice how your neck lengthens and shortens 
the spine at your neck. And then find a midpoint here. So the neck is as long as it can be without having your chin completely tucked in. And then placing your hands just around your navel area. And let your attention go to your breath. Inhaling, allowing the belly to rise as you inhale through your nose, noticing how the fingers just begin to part. And then exhaling. Inhaling again. And exhaling. And on your next exhale, just drop the pelvic floor as you exhale. And you should be able to feel your core just begin to engage as you lift the pelvic floor. And on your next exhale, drop the pelvic floor, belly button in and up. Again, just noticing the core now engaging a little bit more with that breath. And on your next exhale, drop the pelvic floor belly button in and up, draw the sides of the waist in. Feeling the core nicely engaged. And let's remember to use that breath as much as we can throughout the practice and indeed off the mat too. Taking one more breath here. And then rolling over onto your side, coming up to sit. Grab a block if you wish. And sitting with your legs crossed, equal weight on both seat bones, sitting up nice and tall. And let's just roll the head around nice and slowly, getting a nice stretch of the neck. First taking it in one direction. And then changing it to the opposite direction. And coming to stillness, draw the shoulders up to the ears, back and down. And again, up and back and down. And one more time. And then let the left hand come down by your left side as we draw the right arm up past your ear. Let's take a nice bend to the left, feeling that stretch on the whole right side of the body, having a softness in that left elbow and the chest just looking forward and up. So you keep your shoulders in line with each other. One more breath here. And then coming up, let's take that to the other side. So right hand down, raise the left hand up and take a bend to the right. Just feeling that lovely stretch on the left side of the body.
One more breath here. And coming all the way up to sit upright. And let's take a twist to the left. So remember, we're starting from the belly button as we take that twist, using the left leg as a lever to just help us extend the twist, lengthening the spine. So we still want the shoulders over the hips as we rotate the spine, connecting with the breath. As you exhale, just deepening that twist. And then coming back to the center. Take a moment here for the body to settle. And then let's take it to the right. Sitting up nice and tall, lengthening through the spine as you twist. One more breath. And coming all the way back to the center, sitting up tall, finding that length in the spine. Taking one more breath here. And then let's take it into tabletop. So having the shoulders over the wrists, the hips over the knees, the feet straight out behind you, looking down at the mat, pressing away from the mat. So your hands are nicely active engaging the core here as you exhale. And then let's move it into our cat cow. So inhaling into your cow and then exhaling through to your cat, really pushing the spine away and again through connecting with your breath as you move between the two. And then start to bring the uh, hips into it and the pelvis. So just freestyling really here, moving whatever way feels right, whatever way your body is suggesting to you. So bringing in your shoulders and elbows, moving back and forward on your knees with your hips and spine and just really going with the flow listening to your body and when you're ready coming back to stillness And from here, curling the toes, pushing the hips back to the heels. Let's make our way up nice and slowly into a downward dog. So lifting the knees and just pedaling your way in, taking it nice and easy as you make your way into your first dog of the day.
keeping those shoulders away from the ears, gaze towards the belly button. Really finding length in that spine. And let's take three breaths here. Remembering to engage the core as you exhale. And then when you're ready, stepping the feet up to meet the hands and coming all the way up to stand at the top of your mat. And as you're standing here, feet hip width apart, both pointing forward in the same direction. Equal weight on both feet, standing up tall, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Let's do a couple of sun salutes to get our bodies moving. So raising the arms up over the head, palms together. Raise the gaze and take a breath. And sweeping through to your forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to, allowing your upper our lower rib cage to come in contact with your thighs and lengthen the spine halfway lift and forward fold again let's step the right leg back for your low lunge And then through to our plank. So activate the hands as soon as you put them onto the mat and then stepping it back, making sure the shoulders are over the wrists. One more breath. And then coming down onto the mat, knees, feet, chest and belly, elbows in. And then let's draw up the forehead and chest away from the mat. And pushing on up through tabletop, adjusting the hands before making your way into your downward dog. Three breaths here. Each breath just lengthening the spine, engaging the core. And let's stretch that right leg out behind. Step it through. Remember, you can always kind of swing it around a little bit to help it get up a bit higher, if that helps. Dropping the left knee as you rise up to your low lunge. And then stepping that left foot up to meet the right, forward fold. And bending the knees, coming all the way up, palms together, raise the gaze and take a breath. And through to forward fold. Deepening that fold as you exhale, lifting up to halfway lift, lengthening the spine. And again, forward fold, deepening that fold further. And let's step the left leg back 
low lunge. And through to your plank. Three breaths here. And here, engaging the core really helps. And then making your way down onto the mat, either through knees, feet, chest and belly, or lowering yourself down nice and slowly. And then drawing the forehead and chest away. Pushing up through tabletop to your downward dog again. And stretching that left leg out behind you. Let's step it through. Low lunge. And framing the foot into your forward fold. Bending the knees. Coming all the way up, bringing those hands together in prayer at your chest. Good, well done. So from here, turn the left foot at a right angle to the right. Shifting the weight into that right leg, let's lift this left foot up either onto the calf, keeping that knee at a right angle, or if you like, all the way up onto your thigh, whichever feels right for you. Finding the length in the body. And then maybe raising the arms up over the head. And open them out if you like. One more breath here. Bringing the hands back down into prayer, releasing the foot down. Toes together, heels a little bit apart. Let's push the hips back keeping the knees behind the toes, palms together, pressing them together, elbows opposite each other, and let's take a twist to the left. Deepening that twist as much as you can, trying to get your shoulders on, in line with each other if you can. Staying in the chair pose with the legs. One more breath here. And then bring the body back to the center, pushing up into a forward fold. And bend the knees, coming all the way up to stand. Hands in prayer, take a breath. And let's turn this right foot at a right angle to the left, shifting the weight into that left leg, drawing the right leg up onto the calf or maybe the thigh. Just keep it well away from your knee joint, wherever you have your leg. Straighten the body, lengthen the spine. Drawing the arms up, opening them if you wish, and taking three breaths here.
Well done if you manage to maintain your balance, bringing the hands back down into prayer at the chest, releasing that right foot down, toes together, heels apart, pushing the hips back into your chair pose and taking a twist this time to the right again, trying to stack the shoulders on top of each other. One more breath here. And bringing the body back to center. Coming deep into your forward fold as you lengthen your legs. And then bend the knees and make your way back up. To stand at the top of the mat. Hands in prayer at the chest. Close the eyes. Take a breath. Feeling with your breath. Your whole body just waken up. And come alive. And then let's just step the feet out to hip width apart. And with your hands on your hips, we're going to step this right leg back. You can widen the stance a little bit more if you want, coming the full width of the mat if you like. To, so you can balance yourself, square up the hips. And you want to feel the full uh, the foot, sorry, push a little bit of, of weight into the outside edge of your back foot. Just to really get that stretch in the front leg. This knee, the left knee over the ankle, just making sure it's not falling in or out. Keep it steady, level over the ankle. Hips nice and square, raising up the arms past the ears. Warrior one, let's take three breaths here. bringing the hands down to your chest we're going to shift the weight into this left leg as we come forward onto it raising that right leg up keeping the gaze on the floor one more breath Let the hands come down to frame the foot. Step that right leg back as far back as it can go. So you're on the toes of the right leg into your runner's lunge. Nice long back. Two more breaths here, really feeling the stretch in that extended leg. Remembering to engage the core as you exhale. And then stepping that right foot up to the top of the mat, forward fold here. Bending the knees, coming all the way up, hands together in prayer, closing the eyes. Feeling each breath 
bring more energy and life into your body. And then bringing the hands onto your hips, let's step this left leg back for our warrior one on this side. So again, remembering a bit of weight in the outside edge of that back foot, this knee fully over the ankle. So just watch out because often I see people with their knees just a little bit behind the vertical here. So you want to keep it fully over the ankle. So you've got a nice straight line coming all the way up. If you've got a seam on your leggings, <laughs> like I do, it can actually help you to just line it up, squaring up the hips, raising up the arms. And when you have your leg like this, then this is the supporting leg and it's doing, it's really active um, and working. So you're building the muscle in this leg while you're stretching the muscle in the back leg. It's a great, great pose, warrior one. One more breath here. I'm bringing the hands down into prayer at the chest, shifting the weight into this right leg and drawing that left leg up and away from the mat. One more breath. Engaging the core in this pose can also help you. And then let the hands come down onto the mat. Well done if you managed to hold your balance there. Stepping that, right, uh, that left leg all the way back for your runner's pose. Again, great pose for really stretching out this back leg, lengthen through the spine. And then stepping that left leg up to the top of the mat, forward fold here. Bending the knees, coming all the way up, hands into prayer at the chest. Close the eyes. And with your breath, fully reviving the body. And raising the arms up over the head, sweeping them out to the side, forward fold. Let the hands come down fully onto the mat and step back into a downward dog. And on your next inhale, rise up onto your toes. And as you exhale, drop the heels down as far as they can go. And again, inhale up onto the toes. Exhale, driving the heels down. One more time. Feeling the power of the breath to help the body stretch. 
and tone. And then stepping the feet up to meet the hands. Forward fold. Bending the knees. Coming all the way up. Hands together in prayer at the chest. Let's take it to the long side of the mat. So having the legs out nice and wide, we're going to come into a forward fold here. So hinging at the hips, bending forward. If you can hold on to the backs of your legs here to just help you deepen that fold. Two more breaths. Each breath, just seeing, can you get a little bit deeper into the fold? And then let the hands come down onto the mat as you shift the weight into this right leg. Bending the right knee, stretching out the left leg to the side. And then let's just take that over to the other side. So we want the toes to be pointing up. And take it back. And again, over to the left. And once more on each side, take it to the right. And to the left. Good. Let's make our way back to the right. And this time we're going to just swivel around. So we're facing the long side of the mat. Let that left knee come down. Step this right foot up so it's up here at the side of the mat, with the knee over the ankle. Your left leg is behind you, and we're going to come down into a lizard pose. So, coming down onto the forearms, one or both forearms, if you can. It's okay for this uh, right knee to come out, for the foot to come a little bit off the mat, that's fine. And if you want, you can curl the toes of that back foot, raise the knee. Two more breaths here. And let that left knee come down as we draw the body up, coming onto the hands. We're going to just hop up with this left foot. So our feet are at least hip width apart or further if you like. Your forward, folding forward over this front leg. Let's keep the left hand here on the floor if you can. You can bend this right knee if you need to. And draw the right hand up for a reverse triangle. If you find this very hard, you can always use a block for your left hand. So work with your body in what feels right here. We want to try and line those shoulders up. One more breath. And then draw that right hand down, bring the hands behind your back, clasping the fingers, let's raise them away from the back as you fold forward over this front leg. So a really intense stretch of that right leg.
and releasing the hands down so they're in front of the foot bring that right hand out to the side a little bit we're going to shift the weight into this right leg as we draw the left leg up and turn it sideways so again you can keep both hands down there or if you want you can draw this left hand up onto your hip or all the way up one more breath here this half moon pose and draw the left hand down step the left foot up bend the knees coming all the way up to stand at the top of your mat good and from here let's raise the arms up palms together raise the gaze take a breath and sweeping the hands forward forward fold Let the hands come fully down onto the mat, stepping back into your downward dog, pushing those hips back. Shoulders away from the ears. And with each breath, just feeling the body energize. and then stepping the feet back up into your forward fold again bending the knees coming all the way up bringing those hands into prayer at the chest coming alongside on the mat once again let's hinge at the hips as we fold forward here for three breaths and hands down onto the mat let's just turn this left foot to the back of the mat step that right foot across bringing the right knee down heel toe that left foot over to the side of the mat and come down onto your forearms if you can and lift up that right knee if that feels right let's take three breaths here and bringing the right knee down coming up onto your hands let's frame the foot and draw that right foot up leg up so we're forward over this left leg keeping the right hand on the floor or on a block if you want raise the left hand up into your reverse triangle one more breath here and then draw the hand down as you fold forward over this left leg let's then step 
the hands a little forward, shifting the weight into this left leg. Have that left hand out to the side of the left foot, turning that right foot sideways and then either having your right hand, it can be on the floor or you can put it onto your right hip or stretch it up. One more breath. And draw the right hand down. Step the right foot underneath. Forward fold. Bending the knees. Coming all the way up. Raise the arms up over the head. And bring them down to the chest in prayer. Taking one more breath here, really feeling the breath revive the body, revitalize you, fill you with energy. And then I'm just going to make my way to the top of the mat again, but you can stay at the bottom. From here, let's once again shift the weight into that right leg. Raise the left leg up, holding on to your shin. Flexing the left foot, finding length in the body. So we still want the ear over the shoulder, the shoulder over the hip. Engaging the core. And then let's just bring this left knee down so it's in line with the right knee and bend the lower leg back so you're holding on to the foot of your left leg if you can one more breath here still engaging that core with each exhale as you feel the energy rise through your body draw your right arm up And if you want to bring it into a dancer pose, just hinging at the hips a little bit, pressing the foot into your hand, hand into your foot as you draw forward. Raising the back leg if you can. And then releasing it down coming to stand at the top of your mat. Well done if you managed to do that, even for a millisecond. Let's shift the weight into this left leg and draw the right leg up, holding on to the shin, finding the length in the body, flexing that right foot. And then letting this right leg come back. So you're lining the knees up with each other, holding on to that right foot if you can. Find your point of balance here. The knees are beside each other, in line with each other. And then raise that left hand up past the ear. Feeling the energy flow from your standing foot all the way up to the tips of that left fingers. And then if you want to take it into a dancer pose, do. Just hinging a little at the hips. Draw the right leg back. and release the foot down coming to stand at the top of your mat well done feet hip width apart raise the arms up 
palms together, close the eyes, feel the energy move from the soles of your feet all the way up through your body, up to the tips of your fingers. And with all that energy you've created, sweep the arms out to the side, coming into a really deep forward fold. And then let the hands come down fully onto the mat, stepping back into your tabletop, taking a breath here, feeling that energy flow through your body. And when you're ready, swinging around to come and lie down on your mat with your knees bent. Nice long spine. And then when you're ready, lifting up into a bridge, a nice strong bridge here as we take three breaths. And gently lower yourself down onto your mat. Hug your knees into your chest. Take a little moment here to massage out your back. And then let your feet come down onto the mat. Your legs come out long. Feet flopping out to the side. Palms facing upwards. Just allow the body now to totally relax, release. Letting go of your toes and the soles of your feet. Letting go of the tops of your feet, your heels and ankles. Letting go of your calves and your shins. Your knees, front and back. Letting go of your thighs, front and back. Letting go of your glutes and your pelvis. Letting go the whole back of your body and shoulder blades. The front of your body, chest and shoulders. Letting go your armpits, upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists backs of your hands, palms of your hands and your fingers. Letting go the back of your head, the crown of your head, your forehead, eyebrows, eyes, 
cheeks, jaw, chin, lips and tongue. The whole of your body, just let it go. Take a moment here of gratitude. Gratitude for that energy in your body, energy in your mind, the energy you can create with your breath to fully revive your body and your mind. And let your attention go to your breath as you inhale through your nose, filling your belly, pause, and then exhale. And imagine you're on your favorite mountain. Look around you, take in the views. Inhale that lovely fresh air. Notice the smells around you. All of the scents, mm, the heathers and the gorse. Find your favorite place on that mountain. And notice how connected you are to this place. Connected with your feet, with your body, with your mind, with all of your senses. Looking up at the sky, notice how connected you are with the whole universe. And spend a little time here. 